what I wanted to do actually was to prove that you could have a vehicle that could be used for commuting to work and, and would have room, which is why I'm, I'm putting batteries, kind of tucking them away as much as I can, trying to maintain the original um, size of the car in, in hopes that it can still be used as a commuter vehicle and, and as a car that you can go out with a number of people in. And disconnected that from the transmission, which is right there and uh, took the radiator out and the original battery and a whole bunch of other stuff that was in here. Mm -hmm. Yanked it all out and uh, most of it went to the transfer station, scrap metal. And after all the uh, toxic fuel fluids were uh, drained from it. And uh, so now I'm, I'm what happened was I, uh, I ran into a problem. My motor, which is going to connect onto here, doesn't fit. Uh, kind of have a little oh. picture drawn here where it was going to hit and it was going to go right through. I'd have to cut a big hole. So it turns out that this is a Geo Metro. It turns out that they make a four cylinder version. This is a three cylinder version and it, the four cylinder motor is a little bigger. Oh my. So everything shifts over. So what I'm going to do is get the axles from that and and the mounting stuff for the transmission so it will shift it over three inches and then I'll <laughs> be able to fit. And I've run into some difficulty finding parts for a car that's, uh, you know. How many years old? 15, I guess. Um, it's a it's a 120 volt DC motor, and this coupler. I bought a kit um, which included the motor and the coupler to fit my transmission and mm -hmm. and um, or actually this is uh, the adapter plate and this is the coupler which couples it to the transmission mm -hmm. and uh, so when this turns it will turn the transmission and turn mm -hmm. the wheel. Over here, this is the, the charger. That's what gets plugged in every night, charges up to 120 volts. Uh, there's four batteries in the front here. Three of them are part of the 120 volts. The other seven are in the back. And then there's an aux auxiliary battery that runs the lights and radio and things like that. Um, this is the controller, which controls the, the motor. Um, when I step on the gas, it uh, works this which controls the controller um, the motor you can't see but it's it's underneath these two batteries it's attached to the uh, transmission this is the original five-speed transmission that came with the car when I'm driving and I stay mostly in third and fourth gear this is um, a vacuum pump which is attached to the uh, brakes you need that for power brakes to work so it's a, an additional thing and it's running off the batteries this is the uh, the rear battery compartment which used to be where you would store things but uh, now it's taken up pretty much with these seven batteries that are all connected in series and then the cabling runs up to the front to connect to the other three yep this is where i plug into the just a normal outlet put an extension cord and just plug it right into that mm -hmm. just a regular 120 volt yep it uh, charges overnight probably 10 hours it takes so it's ready in the morning.